Hi everyone, Sean with jazbeescasebreaks.com here doing 2020 Panini Donruss Optic Football 20 box blaster case break two random teams each number one 16 spots where we get two teams in NFL no vet common ship 20 box case of Optic Football Blasters there you go so here is the list of customers JC Uba down to Jonathan Moore and since every spot gets you two random teams going to highlight all of them and double up lists there you go so jonathan moore last spot mojo times four once and twice and then there's a list of teams from the cardinals down to the washington football team dice roll to randomize both lists and pair them up one and one two times so one two robert flores down to jonathan moore Two times the randomizer. Now two times on the teams. One and two. From the Raiders down to the Vikings. Two times on that randomizer. Two times on the customers. And two times on the dice. There you go. So Robert Flores with the Raiders, Jonathan Moore with the Browns, Jack DeFilippe with the Cowboys, Robert Flores with the Buccaneers, J.C. Ferreira with the Panthers, Michael May with the Bills, David Razor with the Falcons, Jonathan Moore with the Patriots and the Steelers, J.C. Ferreira with the Bears, Travis Hildebrand with the Cardinals, David Razor with the 49ers, Robert Flores with the Broncos, Jonathan Moore with the Giants, Bengals, and the Lions, David Razor with the Saints, Chris Chin with the Colts, J.C. Uba with the Chargers. Chris Chin with the Ravens, Michael May with the Rams, Brandon Hall with the Seahawks, Jonathan Moore with the Chiefs, Travis Hildenbrin with Washington, Brandon Hall with the Dolphins, J.C. Uva with the Texans, David Razor with the Packers, Robert Flores with the Eagles, Jack DeFilippe with the Titans, Michael May with the Jaguars and the Jets, and Jonathan Moore with the Vikings. Let's sort this by team. Trade window is open. There you go. There's your list. If anybody wants to trade, here is your chance. So if there's no talks of trades, we'll go ahead and just print and rip. Trade window going once, going twice, going three times, trade window closed. Let's print and rip. And there is our case. So this is a 20 box case break of blasters. From 2020-20 Donruss Optic Football. Those are personal boxes, Nick. So we do not need to sell all 20 of them. You buy one, we open it for you. Uh, we've got two cases to pick from. So basically what we'll do is we'll pop them open, uh, number up the box, or the boxes are already numbered, but um, we'll write down what numbers we have available to us. You can pick your box, we can randomize it however you want to do it, but that's your box.
Always, Nick. Always. Cool. So here are our boxes. So every one of these boxes should have three pink exclusive or blaster exclusive pink rookies or rated rookies. So I'm going to rip open all these boxes and then we'll go through all the good stuff. Oh no, these are purple shock. Okay, so these are not pink. These are the purple shock. Rookies and rated rookie purple shock exclusives. So nice. These are actually, even, I like these even more than the pink.
Um, you know, Nick, honestly, a lot of people have been using uh, just like Instagram and stuff like that. I, if you if you follow a lot of like, um, yeah, I mean, I know a lot of people that just sell on Instagram now. They just post it on Instagram on their story or as a post with a price, and a lot of people just buy straight through there now. Um, other than that, I think there's, obviously there's like, check out my cards and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, trust me, it's hard because like, I barely have anything either, but I have it specifically for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you have anybody that like follows or has people that are fo that follow him, that are also in collecting and stuff like that. Um, you can just post it on there. I know a lot of people that do it like that now. But I know like, I mean, it's not a quick process. I think check out my cards. I don't know what their fees are, what the cost is on that. Um, trying to think what else. I think there's there's another one called My Slabs. I don't know, I haven't used them, so like, I'm just, these are all places I know they are. Is it like a, is it like a, just a, a normal Herber or is it like a high, super high end one, Nick? Or so if it's like a high end one that you expect it to go for a decent amount. Um, like Leland's and Golden Auctions might be a decent option for you. All depends. Or, um, check, uh, look up, since it's the weekend, see if there's any local card shows going on. Prism, Prism Blue Shimmer Auto. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Graded or raw? How much are you looking for? First off line, yeah. I like that. No, no, I, hey, I'm a fan. Raw? What's the blue numbered out of? Okay. Nick, I might be interested in that. I'm a Herbert fan. Um, 25 of 25? Okay. Uh, the other thing I was going to say is, depending on where you're at, check and see if there's a local uh, a local card show going on. Um, they are very active with the buying and selling and trading. Um, I know quite a few people that have luck at those. Is there much grading going on at trade shows? Trading, you mean, Eric? Like swapping cards and stuff? But if you're talking about grading, like PSA and B BGS, obviously all that stuff's kind of on hold until PSA opens back up. Um, July. Oh, 
BGS. Um, not a lot. I mean, the most of the ones I know do uh, PSA, so obviously their stuff's kind of they're they're on hold right now. Um, but we do like we we work with Mark's cards. Um, the only one that I know that does BGS, and I haven't I haven't submitted with them since November of last year, Eric. Um, and mind you, no, BGS is also super backed up. Um, their stuff that was taking like three months time. So my November submission should have come back in February, November, December, December, January, January, February, February ish. Um, they're just now getting back the October stuff or not, not getting it back, but it just started populating. So, um, they're backed up really badly as well. But, um, yeah, the only one that I know that does Beckett, and I honestly don't even know how much he's doing any more of it, uh, was Pars Cards on Facebook. Um, I knew of him through a friend that I did submissions through. So, I don't know the legitimacy or how much he's doing with them anymore, but he is a really good guy if you're trying to do anything through BGS. But I know they also increased their pricing. I'm not sure if they limited um, group submissions or anything like that. Or because I haven't done anything with them in a while. So, will they ever catch up? Honestly, Eric. So here's what I told people. Like people made fun of PSA when they closed down. I told everybody when PSA closed down, all that did was push everybody to all these other vendors, BGS, SGC, wherever it was, right? Um, and a lot of them had increased their prices to try to match the demand and slow it down. Problem is, that's what PSA did. PSA had increased their prices, what, a month or two before they had, uh, had shut down? Because they expected, you know, it, that to be able to slow down. But they got bombarded with people submitting stuff right at the right before they the price increase went into effect so it really screwed stuff up for them um and the only way they could catch up is literally by stopping accepting so i kind of expected and i still do expect beckett to do the same thing at some point so we'll see i had said that i thought that like this was kind of going to cause like a ripple effect um, throughout the industry where other people would have to do the same thing. So I honestly think that Beckett will eventually do the same thing, but maybe they'll just kind of tough it through, ride the wave until they can maybe catch back up. But, but like I said, their, their, their regular submission, which was like through group submissions, which was taken like three months time, which is still long. Um, is now well over six months, seven months. Because like I said, November, our, the October submissions just popped. So that's October to November. November, December, January, February, March, April, May. And then they'll probably come back in June, obviously. So that's eight months worth of when it was taking three months, roughly. What's happened too is because Beckett had increased their prices, they kind of pushed a lot of the stuff that was people with their increased prices. Like it, they just kind of kept pushing that stuff in front of the stuff they already had, and that's where it gets it gets tough, man. I agree, Stephen. I agree. Thirteen spots left there, guys. Let's keep working on that. Uh, after this break, there is nothing else sold out. So you guys want to get next up. Um, if you look at the schedule, 
All the stuff in orange are all the closest breaks to going. Let's listen to how much they had coming when they stopped accepting submissions. So, oh, for PSA, Rebel, they, they put out those numbers. Here's the scary part. They had received PSA the in the three days at the beginning of... When did they put the price increase in? Was it was it March? I, I'll be here. I'm going to be here until at least midnight. Um, anything past that, depending on if we have breaks to do. But I'll be here until at least midnight. Um, they put out numbers. So PSA actually said when the when they announced their price increase, they had such a frantic ship like people not trying to send cards in. Um, to get them graded at the previous price level because there was all, all this unexpected. We don't know what's going to happen with the prices. So when that happened, there was so many people that sent in cards. They actually received in the three days uh, at the very beginning of the price increase, which I think like as long as the submission was in by midnight the night before, like online, even if they were receiving them. So the next three days they received as many cards as they do in a three month period, I believe they said. So, three days worth. Three months worth of, uh, of cards in three days is what they got. So. so that's what they were working with. Yeah, they had to do a bunch of different stuff. Um, it was so bad that the U.S. the post office that services PSA had to put out a statement saying that they were backed up. The post office had to put out a statement. So the amount of submissions that they received had affected the U.S. post office. Mm -hmm. crazy man it's absolutely crazy so but that's why like psa did what they had to do like people were like oh that's so dumb they're like shutting down blah 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 and it's just like if they knew that if they would have stayed open it would have it would have deterred some people but still not gonna catch help <clears throat> help them catch up you know what i mean Cody got a spot in the uh, Contenders Draft Picks random pack break. That's down to five spots left, guys. Every spot gets one pack. There's an auto per pack. Two box break. So that's down to the last five spots. And that's our last box. So let's go through them. Good luck, everybody. Here is that final list from Travis and the Cardinals. Down to Travis and the Washington football team. Last spot, Mojo Jonathan with a bunch of teams. Joshua Kelly for the Chargers. And there's our first purple shock. Michael P. Ryan for the Jets, Michael May. And Joe Burrow Silver. First box. There you go. Bengals, Jonathan Moore. Ross Blacklock, Purple Shock for the Texans. JC Uva. And a Herbert. That's for the Chargers, JC Uva. Jeremy Chin, Silver for the Panthers. Jer uh, JC Ferreira. And you got a Jake Fromm Purple Shock for the Bills. Michael May. Right, Eric? Yeah. You know what's crazy? You know that they uh, they actually did a huge, uh, huge hiring. Um, they've actually been hiring for like the last 
they they already knew that there was a mass increase in, in demand for their business. So they've been hiring since like last year. And I still think they're hiring, which is crazy. Clyde Edwards Elaire for the Chiefs. Jonathan Moore and Atua for the Dolphins. Brandon Hall. And we've got rookie Phenoms. Relic for the Bengals. Jonathan Moore. And Van Jefferson Purple Shock for the Rams. Michael May. DeAndre Swift. Silver for the Lions. Jonathan Moore. And Kyle Duggar for the Patriots. Jonathan Moore. Nice Jonathan Taylor there for the Colts. Chris Chin. Devin Asiasi for the Patriots. Jonathan Moore. And Anthony McFarland. Purple Shock for the Steelers and Jonathan Moore. Tua again for the Dolphins. Brandon Hall. And Ben DiNucci, purple. For the Cowboys, Jack DeFilippe. DeAndre Swift for the Lions. Jonathan Moore. Darnell Mooney for the Bears. J.C. Ferreira. Another Jonathan Taylor for the Colts. Chris Chin. Devin Asiasi again for the Patriots. Jonathan Moore. And nice Jalen Rager. Eagles, Robert Flores. You got a Jalen Hurts for the Eagles, Robert Flores, Clavon Chase on for the Jags, Michael May, and a nice AJ Dillon for the Packers, David Razor, CD Lamb purple, Cowboys, Jack DeFilippe, and another Jalen Hurts for the Eagles, Robert Flores, Jalen Johnson for the Bears, JC Ferreira, and a Baker Mayfield silver for the Browns. Jonathan Moore, Marlon Davidson for the Falcons, David Razor. So we're seeing a lot of the big rookie quarterback names, which is what we want. Let's see if we can find a, we got a Burrow Silver. Let's see if we can find a purple of one of those big names. CD Lamb for the Cowboys. Jack DeFilippe and a Devin DuVernay for the Ravens. Antoine Winfield Jr. for the Buccaneers. Robert Flores. And DeAndre Swift again silver for the Lions. Jonathan Moore. Clyde Edwards-Lair purple for the Chiefs. Jonathan Moore. And Devin Asiasi for the Patriots. Jonathan Moore. DJ Moore. Panthers. JC Ferreira and J Javon Kinlaw for the 49ers. David Razor. stuck behind you Eric Dickerson uh, Jalen Rager for the Eagles Robert Flores and Makai Becton for the Jets Mount Becton Michael May nice Tua Silver Dolphins Brandon Hall and a Jordan Love purple as well for the pa uh, Packers uh, David Razor Darrell Taylor for the Seahawks Brandon Hall and Darius Leonard for the Colts, Chris Chin, Jeremy Chin for the Panthers, and J.C. Ferreira. So nice Tua and Jordan Love in that box. Trayvon Diggs for the Cowboys. Jack DeFilippe. Part of the print. No. James Morgan for the Jets. Michael May. 
Chase Young, nice one there. That's for the Washington football team and Travis Hildebrand and another Cole and a Cole Komet right behind it too. For the Bears, JC Ferreira. Jordan Love base. For the Packers, David Razor. Xavier McKinney for the Giants. And Jonathan Moore. Deshaun Watson for the Texans. JC Uva and a John Hightower for the Eagles and Robert Flores. No, Hayes, they do not do that. Brandon Ayuk for the 49ers, David Razor, Antonio Gibson for Washington, Travis Hildebrand. I was reading about uh, them increasing what they're doing with him this year. A.J. Dillon again for the Packers. A bit of silver of his earlier, David Razor. Has anybody seen the pictures of A.J. Dillon in OTAs? His thighs are absolutely ridiculous. Like, I get we like, talk about Saquon and all that stuff, but my God, that man is huge. Michael Pittman Jr., Colts, Chris Chin. Josiah DeGuara for the Packers, David Razor. Patrick Queen for the Ravens, Chris Chin. And James Morgan for the Jets, Michael May. Cool. So we got 12 boxes left, almost at the half. DeAndre Swift for the Lions, Jonathan Moore. Uh, LaVisca for the Jaguars, Michael May. And a Joe Burrow, rookie phenom relic for the Bengals, Jonathan Moore. Henry Ruggs for the Raiders, Robert Flores. Tyler Johnson, silver for the Buccaneers and Robert Flores. Jeremy Chin for the Panthers, J.C. Ferreira. And Albert Aquabunum for the Broncos and Robert Flores. And a Denzel Mims. For the Jets and Michael May. Jeff Okuda for the Lions. Jonathan Moore. Isaiah Simmons for the Cardinals. Travis Hildebrand. Josiah DeGuara for the Packers, David Razor. AJ Epinesa for the Bills, Michael May. And Henry Ruggs for the Raiders, Robert Flores. Okay, we got 10 boxes left, so we're officially at the halfway point. Jacob Eason for the Colts, Chris Chin. Harrison Bryant for the Browns. Jonathan Moore. Nice Jalen Hurts silver. Eagles. Robert Flores. Antonio Gandy Golden for Washington. Travis Hildebrand and a Chase Claypool for the Steelers. Jonathan Moore. Jeff Gladney for the Vikings. Jonathan Moore. And Julio Jones for the Falcons for now. David Razor. Andrew Thomas for the Giants. And Jonathan Jonathan Moore. So I think so far, so we've hit the halfway point. These are the rookie quarterback highlights. So you've got a Silver Hurts, Relic Silver Burrow, Jordan Love Base, Tua Silver, Jordan Love Purple, and a Joe Burrow Silver. So the only rookie quarterback we haven't gotten a color parallel or a silver in so far is Herbert. Because we've gotten a Silver Burrow, a Silver Tua, a Silver Hurts, a Purple Jordan Love, and then a Silver Burrow Relic. So Herbert incoming. Nice break for the quarterback so far. And a downtown Tom Brady. Shit. Buccaneers Robert Flores. There you go, man. Congratulations. Clyde Edwards Elaire for the Chiefs. That is Jonathan Moore. And you got a Van Jefferson rookie Phenoms. Oh, how about a Herbert Purple right behind that? 
Rams. That is Michael May and Herbert Purple. Chargers. JC Uba. Joe Reed for the Chargers. JC Uba. Josh Uche for the Panthers. Sorry, Patriots. Jonathan Moore. Keyshawn Vaughn for the Buccaneers. Robert Flores. Quintez Cephas for the Lions. Jonathan Moore. And LaVisca, purple, for the Jags. Michael May. I said Herbert Silver for Herbert coming up. I wasn't wrong. How about that, too? Same box. Is that a sign? Is Brady passing the stick onto, or the baton onto uh, Herbert? Maybe. For my Chargers, I hope so. Nate Stanley for the Vikings, Jonathan Moore. Colin Johnson for the Jaguars, Michael May. Cole Komet for the Bears, JC Ferreira. And Colby Parkinson for the Seahawks, Brandon Hall. Tom Brady Silver again for the Buccaneers, Robert Flores and KJ Osborne for the Vikings, Jonathan Moore. Lamar, my house for the Ravens. Chris Chin, Joe Burrow base for the Bengals. Jonathan Moore, Derek Brown, uh, Panthers, J.C. Ferreira, J.K. Dobbins for the Ravens. Chris Chin, and Darrington Evans for the Titans. Jack DeFilippe, Chase Young, Washington, Travis Hildebrand, Jordan Brooks for the Seahawks. Brandon Hall, Tredavious White for the Bills. Michael May and Isaiah Coulter for the Texans and J.C. Uba. Six boxes left. So just under a third of the case left. Jacob Eason for the Colts. Chris Chin. Ross Blacklock for the Texans and JC Uba. Nice Jalen Hurts, Silver, Eagles, Robert Flores. I think that's the second one of those we've gotten. And a Michael P. Ryan, Purple for the Jets. Michael May, Chase Claypool for the Steelers. Jonathan Moore. Jeff Gladney for the Vikings. Jonathan Moore. Jason Kelsey, Silver for the Eagles. Robert Flores and a Trayvon Diggs, Purple for the Cowboys. Jack DeFilippe. Jerry Judy for the Broncos, Robert Flores, Cole Komet for the Bears, J.C. Ferreira, C.J. Henderson for the Jags, Michael May, Van Jefferson for the Rams, Michael May, Christian Fulton for the Tex uh, Titans, Jack DeFilippe, our first Justin Jefferson, uh, Vikings, Jonathan Moore, Nate Stanley for the Vikings and Jonathan Moore, and Zach Moss for the Bills, Michael May. TJ Watt, my house for the Steelers, Jonathan Moore, Michael Pittman Jr. for the Colts, Chris Chin, Joe Reed for the Chargers, JC Uba, and another Jalen Hurts Silver for the Eagles, Robert Flores. Tristan Wirfs for the Buccaneers, Robert Flores, Gabriel Davis for the Bills, Michael May, Jeff Gladney for the Vikings, Jonathan Moore, and J.K. Dobbins Purple for the Ravens, Chris Chin. Cam Akers for the Rams, Michael May, 
and Joshua Kelly. I wish that was it. Herbert. Uh, Chargers, J.C. Uba, rookie phenoms. Devin Duvernay for the Ravens, Chris Chin. Nice Jerry Judy for the Broncos, Robert Flores. Nate Stanley for the Vikings, Jonathan Moore. Michael P. Ryan for the Jets, Michael May. And Logan Wilson for the Bengals, Jonathan Moore. Jake Luton, Jaguars, Michael May. We got two boxes left. We've seen multiple Herbert, I mean multiple Burrows, multiple Hertz, multiple Tua. I think we've only seen the one Herbert color. J.K. Dobbins, Ravens, Chris Chin, Henry Ruggs for the Raiders, Robert Flores. Antoine Winfield Jr. for the Buccaneers, Robert Flores. Keyshawn Vaughn also for the Buccaneers and Robert Flores. Cam Akers for the Rams, Michael May. Makai Becton for the Jets, Michael May. Alvin Kamara for the Saints, David Razor and Javon Kinlaw for the 49ers and David Razor. Okay, last box mojo. Let's see what we've got waiting for us. Come on, Herbie. Come through at the end. We got a relic in here. Tua for the Dolphins. Brandon Hall. And it's Jordan Love. Packers. Relic, David Razor. Chase Young for Washington. Travis Hildebrand and Cole Komet for the Bears. J.C. Ferreira. Brandon Ayuk for the 49ers. David Razor. Nate Stanley for the Vikings. Jonathan Warren, another Jordan Love for the Packers again. And David Razor. Clavon Chase on for the Jaguars. Michael May. And Justin Jefferson. Nice one to finish it off with for the Vikings. And Jonathan Warren. And there you go, guys. That's the 20 box break. Those purple floods are awesome. Or purple uh, shimmer. What are they called? Purple shock. I knew it. And there you go. That was 2020 Panini Donruss Optic Football 20 box blaster case break number one, where every spot gets you two random teams from jaspyscasebreaks.com. I'm Sean, jaspyscasebreaks.com. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time.